have to be your biggest fan. Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Nikki, aka Ada Canada. If this is the first time that you're coming across my channel, seeing my face, hi, nice to meet you. Hope you get to stick around to the end, watch this video, like this video as well as other videos, and most importantly, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're a returning subscriber, you're the real G. Thank you so much for coming back. This video promises to be as informative as possible. This video is going to be an answer in response to many questions that people have asked recently. People who have asked both both emails and also in the comment section of my other videos about med school in Canada. People are trying to find out information about how they can get into med school, how they can get into med school from high school, from secondary school, what will be the requirements to get into med school, what kind of med schools will accept international students and all of those things. So I decided to address everything in this video about Canadian medical schools. Studying medicine in Canada is actually a professional degree. So it's studied as a professional degree, not necessarily an undergraduate. It's kind of similar to the situation that we have back in the US. In order for you to study medicine in this part of the world, which is basically North America, US and Canada, because they're literally the same thing, you need to have had a bachelor's degree first of all. It could be in anything. It could, literally, it could be in anything. You can do a bachelor's in psychology, you can do a bachelor's in nursing, you can do a bachelor's in kinesiology, a bachelor's in health sciences, even a bachelor's in arts, right? Literally, you can come from any background and get into medical school in North America. Well, specifically in Canada. The only area or the only part of this world where you can actually study medicine directly from secondary school is in Europe. So places like Ukraine and I think Russia, Sweden, Denmark, Georgia, those European countries, you can go straight into med school from basically your secondary school. But in this part of the world, in North America, it doesn't work that way because a doctor of medicine, which is an MD program, is a professional degree. They don't just take people straight out of high school. You need to have had four years of undergraduate education in any field. However, I would suggest that if you're interested in going into medicine, study an undergraduate degree that's kind of related to health. So for example, bachelor's in health sciences, in nursing, in microbiology, in biochemistry, in physics, you know, just something that's more in the health sciences range as opposed to coming from arts because then when it's time for you to apply to med school, it's easier because you will have met some of the science prerequisites like physics or math or chemistry or biology or biochemistry, you know, those kinds of things. So it's, it's easier to just transition. If you have, or if you've studied a bachelor's in a non-science area, for example, say a bachelor's in psychology or a bachelor's in finance, but you want to go into med school, you can still go into med school, but you just have to like take the science prerequisite courses. So we're talking about biology, we're talking about chemistry, biochemistry. You just have to take those science prerequisites before you can start applying to med school. Now we've covered the main basis, an undergraduate degree under your belt as the saying goes before you can get into medical school in Canada. The second part of this video which is what I want to stress on is something that you're not going to like okay but it's it has to be said. The reason why I don't like to talk about medicine or medical school so much is because looking at my channel now looking at my audience my subscribers my subscribers mostly are international people right when I look at my statistics on you know the Google on the YouTube studio, I see that majority of the people who are watching me are from outside of Canada. We're talking about people who live outside of Canada and who want to migrate and enter into Canada through school or through work or through whatever means necessary and legal. The downside is that Canadian medical schools are very tight when it comes to admissions when it comes to processing canadian medical schools are very tight as well as being very competitive first of all we don't even have much medical schools in canada we don't have as much medical schools as we do in the u.s so admission is extremely tight one of the main requirements in order to get into a medical school in canada is that you need 
to be a permanent resident or a citizen of Canada before your application can be considered. I hate to bust your bubble, but if you're an international student watching me and you want to study medicine in Canada, it's not going to work. It's, it's just not going to happen. I've looked at all, virtually every single medical school in Canada. We are talking about University of British Columbia Medical School. We are talking about University of Alberta Medical School, University of Calgary Medical School, University of Saskatchewan Medical School, University of Manitoba Medical School, Northern Ontario School of Medicine, Memorial University School of Medicine. I've looked at basically every single medical school in Canada and the requirement is that you need to be a citizen or a permanent resident before you can get into medical school. So you guys who are my viewers going into medical school especially if you're coming from outside of Canada as an international student it's just not going to work because you're not a citizen so that's why you know when people are asking me okay what are the requirements to get to med school I'm like but you're not even a citizen so what is the point of me saying or giving you information regarding requirements for med school when you don't even meet the most important requirement of all which is being a permanent resident or a citizen I'm not trying to be harsh I'm not trying to be a negative Nancy or to dampen your spirit I'm just trying to be realistic and let you know that as an international student it's just not possible for you to come in to a Canadian medical school directly from your home country so if you are someone who has just finished high school or secondary school and you've never been to a university before I don't advise you to apply for an undergraduate degree in Canada and then come study in Canada and when you're done you have to work towards getting your permanent residency at the very least get your permanent residency and then you can start applying to med schools if you are someone who already has an undergraduate degree from your home country you want to get into med school in Canada what I do advise is don't apply to a med school because you're not going to get accepted your application is going to get tossed in the trash so why not pick a program say for example you can apply for a master's program in whatever field and then once you grab that master's degree here in Canada you work towards getting your permanent residence then you can apply to med school this is a very long process for you guys who are international students but I didn't make the rules everything I said here about being a permanent resident or a citizen you can verify yourself on Google if by the time you get your permanent residency you're still interested in studying medicine then you can apply to a med school it's a really long process at the end of the day if you're determined and if you put your mind to it you will definitely achieve it. so i hope that you found this video helpful and enlightening i'm really sorry to dampen your spirits but it's just what it is keep the hope up and keep your faith up and try and get into canada i hope he created some perspective and gives you like opportunities to explore other options while still keeping your main option on the side temporarily like this video give it a thumbs up most importantly subscribe to my channel turn on your post notifications so that you get notified when i post more videos i'll see you guys in my next video stay safe bye